that first sip feeling. Today we're gonna be doing a really cute, quick, laid back, casual review of one of my favorite denim brands, Revice. I will say about Revice, because everything is made to order, they're just a little slower. I still took my chances and I got my whole order. It's not a scam, they just take really long. It's really unfortunate because they are such nice quality. I am not joking when I say that they are my favorite jeans. So yeah, today I'm just gonna be showing you what they have to offer and I'm pretty confident that you will end up loving them too. I wanted to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video. I know you guys have heard me say it before, but Dossier has the most amazing designer scents. So this one's actually my favorite before. My favorite was the floral brown sugar, which is still a fave. The fruity oak moss, definitely so good. This is inspired by Creed Aventus for her. Mm, I love it. That is what a sexy woman smells like right there. That is what I'm saying. And if you don't know, then Creed Aventus for her is like $550 compared to Dossier, which only sells for $59. And it actually depends. Some of them are like 29, 39, 49, 59, depending on the quality, and the amount of concentration, and it lasts hours. Like honestly, even days. When I spray it on my clothes and I put it back in the closet and take it out days, weeks later, girl, it still smells so good. So it's really cute. Valentine's Day is coming up. This is exactly why I love Revice. I mean, these pants really speak for themselves. They're just so low-waisted. They're like as low waist as you can find on the internet for the price. Girl, these are really amazing. Just look at them. Like I said, they speak for themselves. Everything you see that I'm gonna be trying on today is a size 25, so. I will admit, I was a little worried that they were gonna be tight. Like I thought they were gonna be like a tight 25. I don't know why I thought that, but no, they're very, perfect like I'm not struggling to get in or out of them but they also sit right on my body like you're not gonna find camo like this anywhere because these are reworked denim 100% I recommend I just I can't really stress it enough like if you're gonna get it just know it's gonna take a long time all right so I actually like what's going on here just a basic cropped white tee I also really love to pair my army jeans with some type of blast of color like yellow and orange for some reason I don't know if it's just because like those are hunting colors um, they look really good so I would probably pair them with these shoes but like I said I'm also really kind of digging the little fluffy shoes kind of a laid-back go get coffee vibe but oh by the way can you believe that Onitsuka Tiger they are no longer in the US like they pulled out of the US market. The price on these is about to go up so much. Since this look is kind of like more masculine, I wanted to talk about the green verbana from Dossier, inspired by Creed again. Green Irish tweed, eau de parfum. Definitely, definitely gonna be gifting this one to my man for Valentine's Day. So ladies, if you're watching and you're thinking of, mm, what should I get for my man? This one smells really clean, crisp, and masculine. I really like it. Dossier, my man is specifically asking if you guys could make a Farin Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, Dior Fahrenheit. It smells a little bit like gasoline, like, like sexy working man, you know? A little bit of, like a man's man, like a musky, gasoline-y man's man. So yeah, Dossier, hit me with that Fahrenheit. I'm waiting. Hey, baby. <laughs> All right, you wanna try the next one on? Let's go. They ended up sending me these exact same pants, but in this color, this like red burgundy, which is also really beautiful. They're both camo. I think these are sick. I don't know, my dad's a hunter. He's always been all about it. Naturally, I'm super into camo and these are lit. So I just wanted to show you what these look like. They're exactly the same in terms of the cut and I really like how they're super wide leg, like borderline jean co. You can go lay down. Can we talk about how low rise they are? Like you cannot find this low of a low rise anywhere. I just think these are so sick. They're perfect. Like, I don't know. Honestly, probably like top three things that I would recommend from Revice. These are the, I think, Amelia pant. I'll have it all written down there and you can find them in the links below, so. This next one is giving Western Dolly Parton, like in her, mm, you know, height of her career. 10 out of 10 for this piece. This is just all in the name, Hollywood heartthrob. Valentine's Day, this is that girl. Ah! <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my God, that is so cute. 
I can't. This is a definite fave. And then I paired it with my red cowboy boots for the love month. I was a little bit scared when I was putting this number on because you had to pull it up from the bottom and I got a little bit of a booty, you know what I'm saying? So basically at some point, like the zipper is like being pulled. And so you have to be so careful when you're putting it on not to rip that zipper. Cause if you rip the zipper, it's done. Like it's, it's done, you can't fix it. You'd have to take it to a tailor. You don't want that. So just take severe care when putting on a jumpsuit that has a zipper right here. Also, really booty catch in. I put this outfit on and the first thing that came to my head was, American woman. And I was like, yes, but yeah. This is the Vixen dress and I think it actually fits the name quite perfectly. It's giving Felicity from Austin Powers. And then I paired them with my fry boots. I got these on sale, bitch! Ah! So happy, like, these are so freaking nice. These are the Veronica boot, kind of a staple from Fry. I don't know if you know, but Fry is like an American classic, so. I just look so cute right now. And the fitting, this is a size small. I kind of just went with the sizing that they went with on the model. I was like, mm, I look kind of pretty similar to that girl, so everyone was wearing a size small, so. I do a lot of hauls, and a lot of clothes don't really make me this excited. I thought my mic turned off for a sec there. I love it. Oh, I'm kind of kind of down, but you can always go a little further up or you can go all the way up, which is also a look. <laughs> love it. I think I actually like a little, just a little bit, you know, pull the girls out. I've noticed that a lot of companies are kind of reverting back to like that 90s look, 90s Y2K. Yeah. What do you guys think, by the way? I put my bed on the floor. I finally got rid of that bed frame. Lucci, when she was a baby, God bless her little heart, she just chewed it up. She had like a teething frenzy on the bed frame. So it was, it was, it was not pretty. Also Metro, I, I always feel bad because he was, he's getting older. And so he wants to jump on the bed during the day. He loves sleeping on the bed. Some people don't let their dog on the bed. That is not me. I like put their little booties in, tuck them in, read them a bedtime story. Like, no, my, my dogs are my babies. They are allowed anywhere. It's now become like this pretty much a thousand dollar dog bed, which I'm not mad about. I'm so happy that Metro just gets to chill. He's over there on his other dog bed. It's also really nice dog bed, Tempur-Pedic. He's spoiled. Anyway, next. <laughs> Okay, you guys, this is the plunge. Luigi, nobody wants to hear you eating your thigh. See, he still thinks he needs to jump. Isn't that so cute? Now he doesn't have to jump. Okay. <laughs> Again, these are a size 25 and I love how low they are. I don't think I've ever seen anyone carry overalls like this. I love the deep plunge front and sides, which go even deeper than the front super sexy. I was thinking about doing like a cute video shoot with no shirt and then just like, you know, these covering and that would be such a sick kind of editorial look. A little bit risque, but I like boudoir personally. I could see myself like rocking these at the farm, feed the horses, you know, just running around, doing cowgirl things. I love the ventilation. It's so breathable. That was a joke, <laughs> but like, come on. Would I pair it with these? I don't know, but they were there today, so cute. Maybe a little bit too flat for this look, but I like the color. Anyway, yeah, just wanted to show you this. Kind of a fave, kind of a fave, not gonna lie.
So this was actually not what I had originally planned for this look. I had like a blue corset top, but as soon as I put it on, I was like, what is going on? That is, this is not giving. And so instead I just threw on a cropped manually by myself, cropped tee. And this is actually how they styled it on the website. Just super basic. This look, after I had it all put on just now, I was looking in the mirror and I was like, okay, this is giving like Michael Bay, Transformers, opening scene, Shia LaBeouf, Megan Fox, working on the car. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, <clears throat> these are not for every day. These are specifically for photo shoots. If you're wondering like, where the hell are you gonna wear that to? Nowhere, babe, nowhere. These, these are not for wearing unless you're gonna wear them to like a festival. But yeah, these are strictly extra. And then just throw on like a trucker hat and boom, like you're good to go, baby. <laughs> I cannot wait to shoot these pieces. These are so cool. I hate when I put a hat on and my ear comes out like this, it like peeks out. So ew, gotta, gotta cover it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All my ear tuckers out there. <laughs> that was a whole talk on TikTok. <laughs> Love this look. Definitely mm, sexiest shorts I think I own to date. These are sexy. 10 out of 10. This look is like kind of butchy femme. This is the lesbians Valentine's Day look, you know? Yeah, this is just the perfect amount of feminine. You know, we got this corset. I got this from Revolve, super down. These are, I think the Virgo shorts. They're super low waisted, but they're also like a Bermuda. Very, very tomboy. Like I am so living for these. Super cute though. I really love this look. I actually really do love this look. Like. I love mixing that feminine masculine energy at all times. That is my vibe. These shorts are totally giving skater boy, Avril Lavigne. Like, I don't know, just this, this look belongs at the skate park on Valentine's Day. And last but not least, I have some kind of basic jeans. These are the Shy size 25. It was kind of up in arms between these and that pair. They're nice jeans, super nice. There's nothing wrong with them. I just. Don't know if I like the other ones more. Overall, I really like these jeans. I think they're super nice. I am swallowing them a little bit on my heels. They're pretty tall. The flat bottom shoes are really giving with these pants. All of their pants look amazing with crop tops. So I'm pretty much done here today. Kind of a run and gun styling. I was just literally picking schnitt out as I went. But before we close out, I wanna give one last recommendation from Dossier. This one is really nice. And I know it looks like I'm reading straight off of a thing. That's because I am. So this is Woody Hyacinth and it's inspired by Chance by Chanel. Eau de Parfum, not de Toilette. And this one also has a really high concentration of 18%. That's like real perfume type stuff. So this one is also super feminine and sweet. Overall, I just really recommend it. I think it's really nice. I put it on and then my boyfriend was like, oh, you smell really nice. So I don't know. I guess if it gets a good reaction around me, then I know it's good. Thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video. I love your perfumes so much and I hope you guys really take my advice because they're super legit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know little Papa's having a great time because he's about to go to the park. Park? Is Papa, you want to go to the park? Wait, Papa! Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Yep. We're gonna go to the park. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>